This is Kurt Dove with Bass UTV going over the nuts and bolts of all season jerkbait fishing. We got out here on the water. We actually found a really cool little spot. We've got a, a nice flat point right here that drops off into some deeper water. You know, it's, it's not really prime time jerkbait fishing right now, but we're gonna go through the conditions that make jerkbait fishing prime time. Now, if there were some smallies in this lake, we, we'd probably be talking a little bit different story. Smallmouth fishing in the summertime with jerkbaits is, uh, it's a go-to tactic. As much as drop shot fishing, as much as swim bait fishing, as, as much as you know, tube fishing is in, in the smallmouth world, the uh, jerkbait is, is a fundamental piece of, of equipment that you need to catch big smallmouth. So this actually is a great scenario. We, we've got this, this little lake right here, but you can see up there, we've got a, a nice little point with a shallow flat and uh, a, small, you know, a small drop out in front of those flats. And we talked uh, at some time previously, and a lot of instructors have, about edges. And that's where this jerkbait is really gonna shine for smallmouth in the summertime, is utilizing it around edges, where rock turns to sand, grass turns to rock. Any of those you know, boulders turn to pebble rock. Any of those little edge breaks or little depth contour changes are gonna be critical to finding the smallmouth. And when you find them in the right depth zone, which is generally in that six to 15 foot zone, a jerk bait is gonna become a big process of, of catching those fish. So let's talk real quick about how we're gonna work that bait. Again, a super long cast, just as far as you can get that jerk bait out there, that's the first critical part. Second part, start twitching it back in, start jerking it back in. When I'm jerking my lure, I wanna make sure I'm twitching my lure on slack line. Very similar to how you're working a top water bait, okay? You don't wanna jerk it when the line's constantly tight. That's gonna impede the action of the lure. So if you jerk it on a slack line, that's gonna give that bait really good bounce. It's gonna allow it to go back and forth. This I'm a flit really likes to hunt back and forth when you're really pushing it through the water or jerking it through the water. So giving it a little bit of slack line and starting to twitch it back in, real critical, jerking on that slack line. Next step, <clears throat> again, we're out there, super long cast, start jerking it on that slack line. The pause isn't as critical in the summertime. We talked a little bit earlier about water temperatures and, and you know, obviously in the summertime, your water temperatures are gonna exceed 65, 70 degrees in nearly all cases. So we're gonna be twitching it real fast. We're gonna, you know, two or three twitches, stop. Two or three twitches, stop. But we're stopping it for a very short period of time. Two or three twitches, stop. The stop is still important, especially on a conditional basis. A lot of time, Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.